James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is July 13th, 2023, 4 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had another M flare pop off our sun. This looks like an M 2.1 according to NOAA, an M 2.12 according to NASA. So they came in very, very close to each other, if not identically. This happened right at 1930 UTC time. That's going to make it about 1.30 Central Time here, although we're just coming off that flare, as you can see here. Over to go, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. Although no and NASA have not pinpointed the blast site, we can see clearly that it came from AR3361. We can see the solar flare followed by the coronal mass ejection. That is a beta gamma sunspot, one of the more complex sunspots currently on our sun. I do not think that there's a threat to Earth, but we never know. Uh, but clearly we can see the explosion and the coronal mass ejection that was lifted off the solar surface. Now, ladies and gentlemen, over to Alaska, I don't know if we got lucky or what, or what that might be. But as we move on, we see an eruption out of that area this is at 1530 but it moves along you can see all kinds of pixelizations and cover-ups everything looks strange and then there's more cover-ups and lines there we can see that it actually explodes again right here at 1918 1930 out of that spot directly associated with sunspot ar3361 let's take a look at that sunspot after we look at the extra absorption that Earth experienced. Remember, this did hit our GO satellite orbiting at 100 miles above Earth, with the sun supposedly being 93 million miles away. And it looks like the X-rays did hit our D-region absorption, the lowest level of our magnetosphere. All right, this starts out at right around 1 UTC time. It'll be about 7 this morning. You can see lots of strong sea flares throughout the day. And we don't really see anything significant until we get right to that time period that we indicated right there at 1921 UTC time. It's like the peak of the extra absorption based on our D-region absorption prediction center. So this was a fairly strong 2.1. 2.12 solar flare and there was definitely a coronal mass ejection associated with that continue on throughout the day not a very long lasting event but definitely a strong enough event to cause geomagnetic disruption for earth if it is in the path of the coronal mass ejection now this is sunspot ar3361 and it is beta gamma, so it is complex, and that is the origination of this solar flare and associated coronal mass ejection. I'm sure that NASA and NOAA will soon chime in to that fact. The other thing I'd like to remind you guys that we were supposed to be hit by the coronal mass ejection today. Remember the mainstream media picked it up six or seven days ago, and NASA started forecasting it nine to ten days ago. And we weren't quite sure what happened. All of a sudden, there was a solar flare two or three days ago that disappeared. Now they've actually removed right around five and a half hours of data here from right at 0 hundred UTC time to just before 6 UTC time. A huge gap of data. You can see when it does pick back up, it's in space weather territory here, the plasma is. Definitely uh, at 1734. Now that's not the highest we see all day today either. I'm guessing this must have been the impact, and I'm sure their actual excuse will be the impact of the plasma had an effect on the Discover satellite, which of course I would not believe because we've seen much stronger plasma unless this was very strong and they've removed the data. 
We also have another peak, very short-term peak here, at 23.39 centimeters cubed of plasma, which is twice the space weather, twice plus the space weather threshold of 10 centimeters cubed. You can also see that solar wind pops up with the plasma, which is very odd. And finally, looking at the peak of the plasma here, we see that temperatures are normal. Although plasma jumped up, solar winds jumped up, the temperatures actually don't jump up for another 30 or 45 minutes, which is even more odd. With that said, there is a space weather event indicated here, and that looks like one of the only ones for the day. Perhaps something here, but it's not as clear. So, in conclusion, we had another M-class solar flare, an M2.1, 2.12, at 19.30, 19.21 UTC time. And that came from Sunspot AR3361. Of course, we will wait for Israel modeling to see if they believe that that solar flare and associated coronal mass ejection will affect Earth. God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.